Hi guys, so I don't think I've quite got the camera angle right, I'm going to push back a little bit. Um, so you're kind of missing the top of my head and I hope that is okay with you. I mean nobody really needs a top of a head anyway, um, but I just like, I'm at my mum and dad's and every time like I come, I have to reset the studio up with the angle of the camera because it's just kind of like, I'm in a box room. Um, <laughs> so each time I come I have to reset it, so I get the, the settings right and then the next time I come I mess it all up. So you're going to miss the top of my head, um, but I'm sure that's no problem with any of you because you're not here to see the top of my head. So <laughs> on another note, what we're going to do today is what happens next with you and your person. So it's going to work on the collective energy between you all, we're going to go into all your energy, all your people's energy, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. And if you need me for private readings, you can just give me a shout um, on Instagram, Facebook, or on email. Um, Instagram, Facebook, it's just Misty Love Tarot. You'll see the same profile picture um, as what's on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I do £10 same day return on uh, voice note readings on those as well. And then if you want video readings, just just drop them message because there's a little bit of a turnaround um, on them. So let's go. Deck number one, deck number two. I want you to think about your person. Oh, camera angle still dodgy. <laughs> I want you to think about your person as you're going to the deck that you are most drawn to. And I want you to feel as if you can push that energy into the deck. Number one and number two. And if you're struggling to feel it, I would just like you to kind of visualise an orange colour, spirit saying, with very sacral chakra energy coming, coming forward for you guys. So right off the bat, there is this kind of very sexually dominating energy between the two of you. Like this, is, <laughs> this is an emotional connection with all of you watching. This is an emotional connection, but it also has a lot of sacral chakra energy. So uh, creation, fire, um, ruled by the womb energy, which is, you know, creation of life. So you're kind of manifesting things as well, but we also have a very strong sexual, passionate energy coming through. Day number one. Let's go. So going into all your energy and your people. So just think about your person for me as I collect that mutual energy. And let's just do three more. My spirit guide is saying three more bridges. This is like my party trick. <laughs> like, okay, guys, let's shuffle. <laughs> I could work in a casino, couldn't I? What the last one? Okay. So let's see. What's going to happen next between you and the person that you are asking about? So as I said, this works in the collective energy. And if you need me for private readings, you can just give me a shout. I'll put all the details in the description box below. The comments. What's going to happen next? I love this set. This, this deck... This deck's called the Slow Tower, and I had to have it imported from America, I believe, uh, by a person called Lacey Bryant. Um, but I just fell in love with them, and I didn't use them for everyone, anyone else's readings for a long time. Um, but now they've become one of my... You know, I have a few decks that I keep just for myself, but these decks now has become a, a collective deck for you. One that I use in everyone's readings when I'm pulled towards it. Okay, I'm going to stop at five cards. Okay, what happens next? Do, do, do. You guys are feeling in a bit of a complicated situation at the moment. And what's predominantly happening right now is the mind is very much in control of this situation. So there is thinking, there is overthinking, there is acting on logic rather than emotions. Um, and you're going to be feeling as if you're hitting a little bit of a brick wall. So your person kind of coming up in the King of Swords energy over here. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. Uh, but Tarot will always work with a masculine and a feminine energy. So you people, you lot inquiring, this is your counterpart. This is the person you're asking about coming forward in this King masculine energy. So your person is working on logic, they are working on the mind and they are already a thinker and then this, added this to it, they are an overthinker. And Spirit are saying to me they are also box people. So you might have heard me talk about this before. Your person can only deal with one thing at a time. So they have a box for work, a box for family, a box for you, a box for pets, a box for kids, a box for money. All these separate things that are going on in your person's life, they can only be in one box at the same time. So 
your box over here, box of work over here, if they are sitting in their work box and you are trying to communicate with them, you are going to be hit by the King of Swords. You're going to be hit by a bit of a brick wall and them not really talking to you, not communicating with you, the language kind of being a little bit snappy. This is why your person is a box person. Okay, so they have one thing at a time that they can deal with. So where you are at the moment, when your person is in your box, you're going to feel that they are very loving, very giving, very kind, very caring and wanting to talk to you. And when they're in a different box, you're going to be feeling like you're hitting brick walls, that they're not interested, you're not really sure what's going on. So you're going to have a little bit of whiplash with this situation right now. And with that, you lot might be feeling a sense of betrayal, a sense of being let down, a sense of um, not really sure what's gone on. Also with this, sometimes circumstances, for saying circumstances have made the situation a little bit more complicated. So that's probably not all of you guys, but some of you guys will be going through difficult times. There could be other people involved. There could be other things happening, again, in the boxes of your person's life. And then you're feeling that they've let you down, they've hurt you, um, and there's probably some kind of past life trauma. And again, if you need a past life reading, just give me a shout. But there's past life trauma here, there's list life trauma here. So the situation between you guys is a little bit icky. It's a bit of an icky, sticky situation. Um, now, Spirit saying for one, Spirit just said to me, Spirit guys just said to me, love. For want of a better word, there is love. That is exactly what they said. But we also have this kind of heavy energy that comes with it. So we have overall a battle of the heart and the mind. OK, so the heart is pulling them one way. The mind is pulling them another. And again, this is where you're going to feel like you're getting some form of whiplash from your person right now. So where is it going? The future energy. Well, the future's looking bright. Um, and if any of you just remember the old orange, I don't even know if orange mobile exists now. I'm really showing my age and they used to go, the future's bright, the future's orange. Um, the future is orange and it's quite interesting, again, that we're bringing up that sacral chakra energy that I mentioned at the pick of cards. Orange always navigates the, the, the sacral chakra um, and it's also the kind of colour that I use in a lot of my magic because, again, creation of life. I work with a lot of fire energy. Um, I have a Sagittarius moon and even though I'm a Gemini with a Sagittarius moon, so you probably feel like you get whiplash from me sometimes. Um, but that, that moon energy, that fire energy dominates a lot of my magic and the fire is the element that I work with the most. And when we're looking at you and your person, there is a bit of a fire uh, prevailing energy here when they're saying the future's bright the future's orange what spirit are saying is that you can create what you want from this you can manifest this you can do magic you can bring everything manifesting magic prayers whatever it is that you are specifically into you can bring this connection around okay and i'm hearing the song coming around again which is quite an old song and i want to say it was by cindy lauper but i could be wrong and um, and with that as well i just got um, I've got two songs actually. I've got Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty. I'm going to see her. Can you believe we've got tickets? We're going to see her. Um, it's like a year away, but we're going to go see her. Um, I got Dancing With Our Hands Tied. And it says, baby, can we dance through an avalanche? And that is kind of where your energy is with your person at the moment. Things are falling down around you, um, but your hands are tied together. And I also like that as a symbolism of hands tied. Um, in pagan, it, again, in, in, in my form of beliefs, uh, hand tying was the old weddings um, and they say can we dance with our hands tied so it's like everything that's going on around you guys there is still this beautiful love energy coming up so dancing with our hands tied things falling down around you but we have a rebirth of the connection um here okay so this is judgment this is a choice being made but this is also a rebirth okay a new start, a fresh start. And after that, you have the Ace of Pens. So brand new, stable beginnings. Um, stability, security, sacral chakra ruled again. And this is root chakra ruled actually, but the sacral and the root kind of lower chakra energy is really embodying the connection between the two of you. And with that, there is a sense of calm as well that comes in. This loving, calm energy comes forward with it. Now, the only other thing in your future that we need to be aware of is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so... What will happen, cycles might repeat with all this stuff over here. You might find, again, your person isn't going to have a personality transplant. They are still going to be a box person. And with the Ten of Wands over here, it might still bother you how they handle situations, what they do about situations. But 
what's really interesting is that things love will prevail spirit just said love will prevail and you can have these new beginnings over here even if you're not in contact there is a regrowth there is a rebirth there is a transformation happening so if you need me for any magic just give me a shout if i can do it if goddess i, I mean goddess are that are are my uh i'm a priestess uh, i'm a priestess for the morrigan i know <laughs> she, she's uh the the goddess uh, we, 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 you wouldn't think me and her gel, but we do. We gel really well. Um, and I am one of her priestesses. She came to me and asked me, and then everything went a bit tits up because she is a goddess of war, death, and rebirth. Um, she's pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, but she's also, I also have the other goddesses I work with, like Keridwen, who is a creating energy, a creating, a creating life, uh, and Bridget, who's a goddess of hearth and home. So these three goddesses, and Hera, who's a goddess of family, but she, she's Roman, I think. Um, these goddesses kind of rule a lot of how I do my magic. So even though the Morrigan is my, my key lady, um, the other goddesses come to me for different types of magic. Um, and we can work with Venus, Aphrodite, etc. with love readings, but you uh, love things. But just let me know. If you like, want to let me know what's going on, I can check with them and they can say yay or nay. I have to run it past them first. I can't just say, yes, I'm going to do it for you. I have to make sure they're okay with it. And if they are okay with it, then we can conduct some beautiful magic and probably fires. I had to buy a little fire extinguisher from my room the other day because uh, I did this magic and it was so powerful. <laughs> It happened like the, the magic happened within a day. It, like I, di I, I did it, it happened, uh, but I nearly set my curtains on fire. <laughs> it was like, oh god, this is really powerful magic. Um, and then with Taylor Swift as well, but we got the tickets. So uh, two separate magics, but all within like quite fast turning around of them. So if you need me, just let me know. And that is a bit of a rant about magic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to scoot over to deck number two. Hi guys, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, welcome, welcome to Mystic Letaro. My name is Ali and I will be your reader for the day. <laughs> so what we're going to do is look at what's going to be happening next with you and your person. And as I'm just kind of talking to you, I'm just going in the collective energy of all of you and all of your people. And I'm just going to pull five cards for what is going to happen next between the two of you. Good. Good start. What will happen next? Good. Oh, good. 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 Let me see if we get whole full house. We need two more. Four. Good. <laughs> good card. One more. One more. Okay. Yeah, they're not bad. <laughs> the last one was Knight of Wands, so they're not too bad. Um, Knight of Wands just kind of coming in with a little bit of a curveball, but the rest are good. So let me tell you what you got. You got Judgment, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, Knight of Wands, Two of Cups. Really good cards. So you and your person at this moment where it's going, your circumstances are all extremely different, but there isn't a collective energy on where you guys are at the moment. In case of that one, there was. With you guys, we are really forward focusing. In case this is really into the future of what's going to happen with you guys. Now, wherever you are and whatever is happening in your life, the first card that jumped out is judgment. So this is talking about rebirth. This is talking about things changing. This is talking about a choice being made. And this is talking about progress, progression forward. So you two together, your energies are really merging. And Spirit just showed me two circles like this and kind of the linking in the middle, linking the chain. And as that happens, as I get into that chain, uh, I've got the song flute with Mag, we will never break the chain, okay? So the two of you are definitely divinely, with the Hierophant over here as well, you two are definitely a divine connection. So you're going to be soulmates, which is beautiful. You're going to be higher vibrational soulmates, which is like nearly twin flames, but not quite. Twin flames, false twin flames, um, general just lovers, but higher vibrational beautiful divine connection there is a past life recognition for a lot of you and if you need a past life reading you can give me a shout on that as well so the resurrection of your connection based on the love that the two of you share and that's where the two of cups comes in so you two have a very strong love there is a very strong bond there is a very strong connection and no matter what has happened your person still loves you and you love them this love is real, this love is true, and this is this is like the real deal, okay? And I know we say not and none of the airy fairy bollocks, but this is really a very strong divine connection. And the love is real. It is real. So even if the worst of the worst has happened, love 
prevails love rules and love rules this connection and we do have a kind of very venus aphrodite kind of energy coming forward with this like loving kind energy that is focused very much on roses higher vibrational love okay so the essence of rose um it's very, it's quite expensive if you buy actual rose essential oil. And um, so you can get Rose Otto, which is like a watered down version. But when we're saying that the energy is ruled by the rose, this is talking about the, the frequency of roses, which are high love frequency. It's a very, very beautiful connection for you. Um, and I'm seeing pink roses as well. Pink rose is kind of the divinity, the spirit saying divinity, divinity 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 it could be divinity but it sounded like divinity to me um so they've got pink roses over here for the love of the two of you unconditional love and that's beautiful in a sense because no matter what's happened no matter where you guys are no matter where the shit has hit the fan love is ruling this connection you still love each other and there is a sad feeling that comes with that, you know, perhaps circumstances have made you pull apart or perhaps things have just become really, really difficult. But that is a very strong love connection and that love will not break. You cannot break it. Spirit saying you cannot break it. You cannot cut it. The love is too strong and it's because it is a divine connection. So when we're looking into the future energy of the two of you, love will always be there which is beautiful. You will always have love for this person and your person will always have love for you. Even if they're hiding from it, even if they don't want to realise it, love is there. Okay, so divine connection and love into the future and where the connection is going is a rebirth of love. Okay, so if you're worrying about not connecting or it's going to shit, um, the rebirth is there. So the other two cards kind of coming up are the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands. So let's just talk about the Knight of Wands because he has come into your energy. Now, this is the person, your person, not committing at this point in time. Now, for a lot of you, I do actually feel, again, that this could be circumstantial. What Spirit is saying to me is not about the destination. This connection is about the journey and what you two go through, okay? And this is why the Knight of Wands is coming in because love, the reason why you are having this experience is, is so that you can learn to love without conditions. So even if your person isn't committing to you in this future energy, they have got love for you and you have got love for them and that's beautiful. So even if you're not together in a longer term, the love is still there. So it's a very, very strong love connection. That's why you're what you're learning over this. Now, this can change because we've got the wheel that came out next to it. This will, well, most likely will change in the future energy with the wheel coming in, saying breaking the cycle of non-committal. This is what it's saying. And moving forward with the judgment and um, two of cups over here, the rebirthing of love. So it does look like things are going to shift for you guys. Um, but it's likely circumstances are what's making this go this way at the moment. That non-committal energy will break and then you have the chance of being in a relationship and being very loved up with each other. So it's turning into a positive. Um, some things from this, and I, I hate to be one of the, I hate it when psychics say patience. It just, it's one of the things that really bugbears me. Wasn't it? Be patient. And I'm like, well, nah. <laughs> I am not a patient person. I am a Gemini and I have a Saggy moon. I am not patient in any way, shape or form. Um, and they say patience. With this connection, it is a case of ha have a, oh, I hate that song. Is it Coldplay or take that? Have a little patience. Have a little patience. It just bugbears me. I'm just like, ugh, it makes me want to scratch my skin off. But that is what Spirit is saying. This connection needs time. It needs time. And the other song when I'm saying time that I got was a drum and bass song, which is way more up my street than take that. Chase and Status, Time, uh, Feet Delilah. If you can find the time to give your love to me, just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be. Okay, just those specific lyrics from that song. Um, rather than the whole song, because you'll be like the, the rest of the lyrics, but it's, it's that bit that I'm drawing to. It's a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but there's, the future of the two of you is progressing you know, and there will always, always, always be love, which is just beautiful, beautiful. And that's deck number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message. Um, not sure when I'm putting this video out, but I probably am back from holidays, but if I'm not, um, you can still message me and I will respond. Um, I've got single day voice.
same day voice note reading. So if you want a reading today, I can do that for you. Uh, a £10 a question on Instagram or Facebook. So just find me, Mystic Love Tarot. Hit follow, hit subscribe, and I will speak to you later. Ciao, Bellas.